Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Welcome to this week. Stephen Paddock managed to smuggle 23 guns into the suite of his Las Vegas hotel, whose five-star service sadly did not extend to basic security, before unleashing his carnage last Sunday night. Another 19 guns were found in his home. So this is not about the right to bear arms. The American gun lobby claims is embedded in the US Constitution. It's about the ability to amass an arsenal. Whatever the Founding Fathers intended when they agreed to the Second Amendment, it's unlikely they had in mind the freedom to stockpile unlimited M16s and AK-47s in your basement to be used at will. Yet enough American politicians do think that way to make gun control impossible, no matter the massacres. Now is not the time, we're told. The 60 gun down in Vegas might beg to differ. If only they could. We can't really prevent this sort of thing, says the country in a league of its own when it comes to mass shootings. Is there nothing to be learned from abroad? Nothing changed after Columbine or Sandy Hook. Nothing will change after Vegas. I guess rigor mortis sets in when a political system sells its soul to the National Rifle Association. But it comes at an unimaginable human toll. Since Senator Robert Kennedy was gunned down in an L.A. hotel kitchen in 1968, more Americans have died from gunfire in their streets and homes than were killed in all the wars America has ever fought, going way back to the War of Independence and including the bloody Civil War. The British managed to kill 4,500 Americans during the War of Independence. These days, that's just a bad month in America. Yes, Americans are much more lethal at killing themselves than killing their enemies. It's not quite fair to say the politicians are doing nothing about it, even as they grow accustomed to it. Mental illness no longer precludes you from owning a gun in America. You can be on a no-fly list in the United States, but still own a gun. And this very week, Congress was due to consider a move to make it easier to buy silencers. So the guns will still be going off, they just won't make such a bang. I'm sure we'll all be grateful for that. I've been getting away with